What's up guys? Today taking a look at Slide It In from Whitesnake. Second fret, third and fourth string you're barring. You're going to strum the open fifth down. A power chord. You're going to hold that bar and you're fretting the second on the third and fourth on the fourth. You're going to strum the open fifth down. Back to our A. So you have. Then we come down to seventh fret. You're barring three and four. You're going to strum that once. With your hammer on 2nd string 8th fret, 4th string 9th fret, and when you do that, you're going to strum through for the 4th string down. Then you take your fingers off and you're going to strum through that barred 7th. Then you're going to replace your fingers on them strings, same frets, and do that again. Then you're taking your fingers off and you're going to finish by strumming that barred third and fourth on the seventh. So you have. Then it's back to. And then that. And you do a slide after it's played the second time. That whole thing is going to repeat. In a bit, you're going to have a palm muted. Uh, there's two guitars actually playing on this, so you got a palm muted fifth string that comes in and it's doing that, but that other part is going on. Then there's uh, first string, second string, and sixth string, muting the fifth out. It's a G power chord. You can, if you're having a problem, leave that first string off no big deal and you're gonna strum all six strings twice from there you're fretting the second on the third muting that first out and then you're coming over and fretting the third on the second and you're gonna strum the open fourth down so that's a D so you got from there we're back to bar and three and four on the second strum of the open fifth down. That's going to happen twice. And there's you got to control the strings. You don't want them ringing out. Then we drop back down to third string, second fret, second string, third fret, and you're going to strum through that open fourth down our D. So you got two on the A to two on the D. So just to kind of put that in the context, you have. Alright, so after guitar one is done playing that, there's a little quick lick that happens. Uh, it's gonna be third string, second fret. You're gonna pick it into a pull off, and then you're fretting fourth on second, fourth on fourth. You're gonna pick it, do a pull off, then you're just gonna kind of pull off on the fourth on that second as well and then we're gonna repeat that so five on two and then five on four that's the little lick then the rhythm guitar he comes in with this G so you second string on third fret sixth on third fret muting the first and fifth out you're gonna strum that once then you're gonna keep that second string in the third fret fret it and then the third string on a second fret is gonna be fret it you're gonna use your thumb to fret the uh, sixth string in a second you're gonna strum that once then you're barring four and five you're strumming that open sixth down so E and then we're going to third and fifth fret Fifth on the third, you're muting that sixth out with the tip of your finger, and then fourth on fifth. You got three strums here. And then we just moved that shape down, same strings, but now we're on five and seven, which is a D, and you do twice. So. 